Hi, Diane. How are you? Hi, Erin. I'm well. Thank you. Great. I'd like to ask you uh, what you wanted to take away from this wilderness retreat with Dawa and, and also what was your intention coming in to... That's a, that's a great question, Erin. It actually all came kind of out of the blue. It's like a portal opened up and I haven't gotten away for a long time. I've been in school, I've been working, I've, I'm reshifting everything in my life. And I keep saying I'm gonna get away, I'm gonna get away, but I haven't. And then this opportunity for a wilderness retreat arose and it just sounded like something I really needed. I haven't had any time to myself, you know, all these other things. So being with a group of women with some organized activities and, and potential free time it just sounded like a perfect opportunity for me to refocus on where I'm going and what I need to do to move forward. Great. And how did you feel about how the weekend was structured and the way that Dawa set the weekend up? Actually, I thought it was perfect because even though she had specific activities that she wanted to do, she was flexible enough that when everything didn't go exactly as planned, it turned out to have an even better effect because we were able to flow as a group and bond and then really benefit from the activities from awakening our senses. Great. And what were some of the uh, exercises or activities we did or something that you took away from those experiences? Well, probably the greatest experience that I had was the blindfold really tuning into the sense of touch and feeling my direction of movement and then taking the blindfold off and having to go back to where I was. That, that was really, I felt like everything was attuned to the moment. I felt pleasure. It was fun. And it was just being in the moment, which is what I've needed. Right. I've just needed to get off the grid and it was exactly that. Great. And what do you, when going home, and going into the future, what do you think you'll bring with you from this experience? I think one of the things is that I'm looking at how I've been letting everything impact me in ways that have been really distracting. And in being in the quiet, to refocus what my priorities need to be, what I need to let go of, in order to achieve the goals that I have set for myself. So it's kind of a quiet, a quiet, I want to call it a quiet team is the word that I'm coming up with. It's just the appropriate word is a quiet team. Great. And would you recommend this experience to your friends? Absolutely. Not only is it fun, an opportunity to bond, but it's also a chance to have a quiet time alone every morning to regroup Great. and refocus. Great. Thank you, Diane. Thank you, Erin.